In this video, we're going to look at definite integration. Now, in the last video, we looked at indefinite integration. Uh, definite integration is basically we just have limits. So we just want to go through and explain what this means here. So this means the integral of the function f of x with respect to x. So you're integrating this function with respect to x, and it's between the limits. And this means x is equal to a and x is equal to b. So what this means, what you're going to get is you're going to get the capital F here. So that means this f of x integrated, but it's whenever you substitute in b and minus the f of x integrated and whatever you get when you substitute in a. We're going to jump to an example here that will become much clearer, uh, much clearer when we see this. But one thing to notice, there is no constant of integration here. So there's no constant of integration here. And the reason why is technically we should have capital F of b plus c minus brackets capital F of a plus c. So what would happen? The c here and the c here would cancel each other out. Okay, we're going to jump to the example and see how we get on with these. And I'll explain more as we work through it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do in this example is to multiply out the brackets because we're not in index form. So if I multiply this out, and you can do this if you need to do any extra work here, do so. I, when I multiplied out and tidied up, I get x squared plus 2x minus 15, and that's being integrated with respect to x. We are now good to go. Right, now it's a wee bit different than, than before. We're going to integrate and we're going to get a square bracket. And what we're going to have is our limits on the, on the right hand side. So what this means, what we're going to put in this bracket is what you get when you integrate your function x squared plus 2x minus 15. So whatever we get when we integrate this goes into this bracket in here. And you put your limits now on the right hand side. So when you integrate your x squared, you're going to get x cubed over 3. When you integrate the 2x, you're going to get 2x squared over 2, which just cancels down to be x squared. When you integrate the minus 15, you get minus 15x. Okay, we're going to have a square bracket over here minus another square bracket. Now, what goes in the first bracket? In the first bracket, you substitute in your upper limit, which is 3. So 3 goes into this thing. In the second bracket, you substitute in your lower limit, which is minus 1. So minus 1 goes in this thing for over here. So first of all, in your left-hand bracket, putting in 3, three and just show all of your steps here. That's going to be 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 squared minus 15 times 3. Okay, don't do, put anything into your calculator. This is us showing all of our steps. The next step then, uh, putting minus 1 into this next bracket and use, your, use brackets in here as well. So it's minus 1 cubed all over 3 plus brackets minus 1 squared minus 15 upon minus 1. So if we uh, put the first lot of things, so on my calculator I just do 3 cubed divided by 3 plus 3 squared minus 15 times 3 press equals. And when I did that I got minus 27. So that's what my first bracket becomes. In my second one I do brackets minus 1 cubed all divided by 3 plus brackets minus 1 squared minus 15 upon brackets minus 1. When I did that on my calculator and press equals, I got 15 and 2 thirds. Now your last line is just to uh, sum it up, squeeze that in here, and it's just to do that subtraction. So you have minus 27 minus 15 and 2 thirds, which gives you minus 42 and 2 thirds, and that's it. Okay, so just run through it very quickly. Uh, first thing I did was multiply out my brackets just to have my integra integration in index form. And then you integrate. So you use a square bracket. Your limits now go on the right-hand side. So inside this bracket is what I get when I integrated this bit. And then what I'm doing this, I have now two sets of square brackets. The first square bracket, I substitute in my upper limit, then minus. And in my second square bracket, I substitute in my lower limit, then Push those, punch those into your calculator and you'll get minus 27. Punch this one into your calculator, you'll get 15 and 2 thirds. And then it's just a simple subtraction, which of course you can do in your calculator. Minus 27, minus 15 and 2 thirds. So minus 42 and 2 thirds. Okay, this example says evaluate the integral. And so it's the integral between x equals 0 to x equals 1 of 2x squared minus 9x all over x dx. 
So very like the last ex uh, example, first thing you've got to do is get it in index form. So rewrite again with your integrations. And all I've done is divided each term by x to give me 2x minus 9 dx. And then we've now got gone to our square bracket. Our limits are on the right hand side. And what we put in this square bracket is what you get when you integrate the 2x minus 9. So if you integrate 2x, you get 2x squared divided by 2, which is just x squared. Integrate the minus 9, you get minus 9x. And then put in the 1. And then put in the 0. And we will do that now. So uh, 1 goes into x squared. We'll just give you, I'm just going to show all my steps. That's 1 squared minus 9 times 1. And then 0 goes into the uh, x squared, so 0 squared minus 9 times 0. If I was doing this properly in the exam, I would just write down 0 for this bit. Uh, but just to show you all your steps, and then tidy up your brackets, you're just going to have 1 squared minus 9, minus, nine no, sorry, 1 squared minus 9 times 1 is just going to be minus 8 in the first bracket. Second bracket, as I said, was 0. And then your final answer is just minus 8. Okay, so again, you're once you've integrated, you're on your square brackets and your limits on the right-hand side. And then what goes into this first bracket here is what you get when you substitute your upper limit in. What goes into the second bracket here is what you get when you substitute in your lower limit. And it's a simple sub subtraction to give you minus 8. Okay, you're now ready to do uh, your CCA book exercise 9A, 9C.